Americans, and this is the January 31st edition of the KFGO Evening News. These are today's top stories. The city of Fargo is asking the local business community to get ready to help for the spring flood fight. KFGO News has learned that city leaders concerned about filling 3 million sandbags by the time they're needed are turning to employers to supply some of their workers for that job. It'll start in two weeks. The Chamber of Commerce will coordinate meetings between the city and the business community about that request. Administrator Pat Zavarol says Fargo is asking businesses for 5% of their workforce to work two-hour shifts during the day. A minimum of 200 people an hour are needed at Sandbag Central. Fargo police have kicked off a new distracted driving ad campaign aimed at text messaging. Police Chief Keith Turner says... Now Do You Get It is designed to alert drivers to the dangers of texting while driving. The video shows a five-year-old boy playing hockey in his driveway. The screen goes black just as the boy would have been hit by a minivan. It cost the department $8,500 to purchase airtime. Turner says he's supporting a bill in the legislature that would make texting behind the wheel a primary violation. An officer who sees someone texting would be able to make a stop without witnessing another violation. One person has been killed in a head-on crash on icy Highway 55 west of Rockford. That is in central Minnesota. It was one of over 200 crashes the state report, uh, patrol reported today as a winter storm slickened highways across central and southern Minnesota. Most of the crashes have been in the Twin Cities metro. Investigators are trying to pinpoint the cause of an early morning fire that damaged a Wapit and home. Homeowner Jordan Brownbauer tells KFGO's Gary Rogers he lit a fire in the fireplace. His house was down to 52 degrees. He woke to the smell of smoke, noticed flames, and called 911. There was extensive damage to the south side of the house and heavy smoke damage to the remainder of the home. Trials been set for March 29th for a Grand Forks woman accused in a crash that resulted in a man having a leg amputated below the knee. 52-year-old Karen Botsendahl pleaded not guilty earlier to drunken driving and aggravated assault. Prosecutors alleged Botsendahl's blood alcohol level was nearly three times the limit for driving at the time of that October crash that injured 37-year-old Michael Hart. From the KFGO Weather Center, tonight, light snow, maybe some flurries in the evening, cloudy overnight, cold, low 10 to 15 below, north wind at 10 to 20, wind chills of minus 30 to minus 40. Tuesday, partly sunny, still cold though, 0 to 5 below. North wind at 10 to 20, wind chills 30 to 40 below. For more information on these stories, keep it logged on to kfgo.com. Tune in to the mighty 790 KFGO and log on to kfgo.com daily at 4.30 for the nightly news. Have a good night.